All right, sorry. I don't know what happened there. A little bit of a internet hiccup, it seems like. Very strange. Very strange. But we are back. We are back. Hopefully, hopefully it uh, doesn't happen again. Wait, how far back did it roll me back? Oh, fuck it. Didn't... Can't buy any more mags. For the MP7. Shit. How, how long until he resets? An hour? What the fuck? Oh, that's so annoying. Can't use an MP7. Um... Actually, I could just use 30 round mags. Let's just use 30 round mags for this one. This will be the last lab raid. This will be the last lab raid. 30 round mags, not my favorite. Oh, I can't even buy fucking JSP. You gotta be joking me. Oh, fuck, okay. Um, <laughs> we'll buy Subsonic then. This is gonna end badly. This is going in badly. Let's not buy 3,000 rounds, please. Okay. Got a little bit of KSP. And top load with JSP, that's fine. Oh, this is gonna be kinda gross, dude. Subsonic on labs? Yo, that's fucking nasty, dude. Kinda fucking nasty. Fine. It's fine. Buy more key cards? How many key cards do I have left? Let us, um, this will be the last labs raid. Last labs raid. It's only a three kilogram weapon. Holy shit. I'm just looking at my stats. Let's do it. Should be looking good. Yeah, we're all good to go. Last labs raid. Um, regardless of how this one goes, we're going to do a shoreline after this, and that'll be it. That'll be the end of the stream. Uh, last labs because of that little internet hiccup, and um, because I've run out of fucking 40 rounders and good ammo, so we'll just do one more and end it there on the labs sadly never found the suppressor we did find the fire clean not on labs and we did get terror group employee done so sadly didn't get the suppressor done but we did finish a whole another hideout upgrade so not too shabby and we did find two lead x's today which is pretty nice and two bitcoins i'm pretty sure um maybe only one bitcoin i can't remember no only one bitcoin but i got uh two green bats as well from a daily so pretty good Pretty good, can't complain. Had some pretty big raids as well. I got a lot of stuff, so can't complain too much. A little bit sad we didn't find the suppressor, but it's okay. Maybe this will be it. Maybe we'll find it right here. Right here, right now. More likely, I'll just get fucking killed. But, maybe we'll find it right here. Last labs one, though. And then we'll do, um... A shoreline raid to end it off just so I can finish my daily and get the last thing I need for the water collector level 2. Tomorrow we will farm some graphics cards, or at least try to farm some graphics cards. And we will spin the wheel at the end of the day. That's the plan. Spin the wheel. 
hopefully find three graphics cards one day three graphics cards is like kind of a lot to hope for but definitely possible surely hitman surely surely Hit the buttons down here. They're fighting over black, I'm pretty sure. The thing is that as soon as they're done, they're going to want to leave here, probably. Not the end of the world, though. Tell them when they're down here. Lay an ambush.
they're fighting in uh fighting over black. on this one. I'm gonna go hit the main bow on him. The main is probably the best bow. Should lead me pretty close to Maine. I'll search this, just on the off chance it contains the suppressor I need, I should be searching these weapon crates. Sorry, I'm not talking very much. Usually happens at the end of the stream. <laughs> I end up focusing more than I'm actually talking. Um, there's a lot of fighting going on upstairs, and some of it is raiders, but... 
better off trying to find my own raiders than fighting other people for the raiders. I feel like. Um, at least until... At least until I've hit all the gates and nothing's happening. Um, we're not really getting anything right now. I didn't hit the cargo elevator button, to be fair, but... go hangar gate I think I'm better off going upstairs locked in yeah honestly just focusing on like not Dying super easily. Let's just creep our way up and try and go hangar gate. Try and go hangar gate. There's somebody walking around. I don't want to go the other side. I do feel like I heard somebody creeping around up there. I'm gonna walk this up. Got some raiders up there. That's a good sign. Got excited. Is he shooting an M4? But it's an unsilenced M4. So it can't be the M4 I'm looking for. Badly. There's other ones over there, though.
some ammo. Killed three raiders, but don't know if they have the stuff I need. I did see one guy who looked like he had a long rifle. A long, potentially silenced rifle would be what we're looking for. We definitely need mags, so we're down to the subsonics, which are not very good. Do they have slow travel speed? Oh, they fucking do as well. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm barely going to be able to kill anybody, dude. This is going to be pretty bad. We got subsonic ammo. Fucking terrible MS. Uh, and fucking 30 round mags. Fuck me. I don't like our odds here. hair stuck in my mouth. Sling. Just do this. Just do this real quick. A little bit of dish real quick. M856A1. Do some damage. I'd rather have the MP7 though, that fast fire rate's nice. Compact 4 is just, as soon as I put them on, it's like instantly I can hear fucking everything and it's like holy shit. Fucking information overload. That is more raiders, but I don't think they have the stuff I need either, sadly. They all kind of shot at me there and none of them sounded like they had a suppressed M4. 
I think rogues might be the better bet, honestly. They have a lot less options of stuff to spawn with. I also think they spawn with better stuff overall, to be honest. I'm just going to pack. Burn some time. See what happens. MP fucking fives, dude. Like their backpacks don't even have loot. Raider loot is not the greatest. We'll go and hit the button. Definitely a player. Do it.
I guess we'll go... I want to go hit black, though, before I leave. If I can. There's two raiders I didn't loot downstairs. Any stems? We're just like fucking left here. Very weird. The two gold betas. Take the suppressor off. Roger that. Oh, okay, guys. Teammates down. Scan spotted. Okay, guys.
is there so fucking many of them? Map on his own is a horror game? Yeah. It is indeed. as much shit as we possibly can carry. I'll take the mags. Can I make space? Not really. Take everything. Good enough. Oh, we killed so many raiders and no M4. Not a single one of them had an M4 even. So many fucking shotguns and MP5s and all that fucking shit. I think we have to uh, try rogues next time. I think next time I do this, we have to try rogues. 12,000 XP though. I killed 10 raiders. I mean, I've probably killed like over 30 raiders today. And I haven't seen a single... Well, I've seen one M4. Yeah, like 30 raiders today, one M4. So I, I don't think it's... Uh, I don't think raiders are the play. I think rogues. Try rogues. Time. Rogues have a lot less options. And they spawn with better stuff. Um, I think. So we'll try rogues. That was a very good run. Don't get me wrong. Like, as much as I'm slightly disappointed, that was a very good run. The amount of stuff I got out of that is fucking nuts. Compact 4s, 2 XL headsets, like fucking 5 tier 4 helmets. Like, <laughs> Kobe's mount to loot, the items you need to progress. No, yeah. Well, to be fair, I'm, like, searching for them, which the game isn't, like, intended for. Like, you're not meant to, like, search for stuff like this. Um, this it, the game is kind of built around the flea market these days. Um, so I'm definitely doing something a little bit, a little bit unorthodox, according to the game, right? Um, but, it still can be very, very, I can still get some pretty bad luck. Um, very good run, though. I mean, we got a lot of good stuff. Very good. A lot of good stuff. Three hundred and thirty K just from that. I think we will use a, um, I think that's like a 545 AK. I kind of want to use that. Uh, we're going to do one, one shoreline raid. Because I have a task. I don't have a task. No, I do have a task. A task to exit, exit shoreline. So, 
We're gonna do that. We're gonna do one shoreline raid and either find three blue tape or three blue tape or um use two mags or a hose either or is good Either or is good. I have so much stuff. Put away here. Shit, 43 minutes. That's not good. That's not good at all. That's not what I meant. Press. So, yeah, we kind of struck out on the suppressor today. Uh, we had some very good labs raids, don't get me wrong, but we struck out on the suppressor. We did find the fire clean randomly in a shoreline raid off some guy I killed. Um, and we did complete terror group employee. Um, and we collected pretty much everything we need for water collector level 2, other than one hose. Um, I do need Diego level 2 for that, but we're going to hopefully hopefully save up for that. Um, or not save up for that, but do those tasks relatively soon. But, for now, we're going to do a shoreline raid just to complete my daily and get the last item that I need for that water collect level two and that'll be it for today i'll be it for today holy shit a lot of stems i will sort my inventory later just need to be able to get into a raid just need to get into a raid PT and some PT. Those need. I'm just gonna throw these stims in here just for the time being. Just throw them all in here. Fuck it. Fuck it, we'll do it live. I wanna buy a gun from Mr. Skier. Uh, actually, do I have any stocks? Oh, I've collected so many of these MOEs. We use those. Perfect. Okay. Um, also, is there any scopes I have sitting around? Uh, I have a razor. I do a Valde. Down for Valde. I know there's another rail that gives one ergo, but I'm not going to do that right this second. Also, vets. I'm only rocking 46. I don't like that. Put that on there. Good. One, nice. Cool. That's all good. So much stuff on my back, right? Um, what do I do? I have so much stuff. 
The thing is that there's like almost 100% space in my stash somewhere for all of the stuff that's in my backpack. But the problem is finding that space. And I want to get into another raid. That's the problem. We can sell that helmet. The helm can go. Honestly, the Neo Steel can go too, actually. Helmets are kind of trash. We've actually emptied that out completely. Um, honestly, I might just bring that backpack and just dump all that shit on the ground so we can just go in. Um, just because speed. Let's see what do we got here. That's a lot of shit that's expiring in 37 seconds. Fuck me. Okay, we've got a problem. Sell that. Honestly, I might sell the MP7 as well. I think we probably will. Sell the MP7. Put these mags away. Speed stash sorting, real quick. <laughs> Money away. Fine. That goes. That can stay. Let up a little bit. Is there another one after it? Any space in here? And stick one of these drums in there. Can I buy that mag now? I swear I can. No. Double with a quest. You did it. <laughs> Fucking barely. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. <laughs> We're just gonna go into a raid. Um, this is a lot of junk in my backpack, but that's fine. We're not gonna worry about that. Oh, I have like no insurance for 14 hours. Perfect. All right, we just need to survive one shoreline and find either three blue tape or a hose. Very, very easy, very doable. Very easy, very doable. survive find three blue tape or find a hose either one very very accomplishable things you say that that is true that is true i do want to get the water collector like fully done today though so i mean i'm not gonna be able to install it until i get jaeger level two but if i um if i get everything then i can just install it as soon as i get him up leveled up I know I should have Jaeger higher than level 1 at this point, but I just honestly haven't felt like doing it. And uh, same thing with Ragman. But tomorrow, we're going to farm graphics cards. I kind of just like pick what I want to do based on like what I think is going to be the most fun um, each day. Which is like so relieving. And like I feel so free to do whatever I want compared to everybody else who plays this game. They feel... Like, I mean, that's, that's, like, one thing. I feel like people feel so forced to, like, do this certain quest or play this certain way or bring this certain gear. I'm over here just chilling, having a good time. Like, 
I just feel like I can do whatever I want, like choose what goal I want to aim for. Like really doesn't matter. Like it just doesn't matter when you unlock things, how fast you unlock things, what order you unlock things in. It really doesn't fucking matter. Like like I don't toot my own horn very often, and I'm not saying this too to my own horn. But I have better stats than a lot of fucking people, and I have Jaeger level 1. Like Think about that for a minute. You know what I mean? Like, obviously, you don't need to level up Jaeger to do well <laughs> at all. So it's like, is it really worth making the game unfun for yourself just to level him up? You know what I mean? It's not. It's really not. Just have a good time. Do what you like. I mean, you do need to progress at some point, but do it at your own pace. Do it when you feel like it. And honestly, with dailies, I mean, like, unless you want a very specific thing unlocked, if you just want max traders, you could honestly not even do any tasks and just do dailies every day. Like, very, very doable. Just do the easy tasks and do your dailies, and boom, you won't even have to worry about your tasks anymore. There's certain stuff that's locked behind tasks, but I mean, if you really don't want to do the tasks every wipe, then you can just do dailies nowadays. So many ways to play Tarkov. Don't force yourself to play a way where you're not having fun. Like Tarkov is one of the only games out there where you can play it in so many, so many different ways. And people force themselves to play in a way that's they don't have fun. It just makes no sense. It makes no sense. Like, why would you do that to yourself? Nobody is forcing you but yourself. That's always like the like the 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 like surprising thing to me. Like, people like complain about the game and talk about how bad it is because they have to play this certain way. And I'm like, I realize that you're the only one making that happen. You know what I mean? Right? Like, you're the only one forcing yourself to play that way. And then you're complaining about it. It's like weird. It's like I'm not even talking about like just normal like venting frustration either. Like normal Tarkov stuff. You know what I mean? Where it's like oh my god. You know like I can't. I can't do this. It's so annoying. It's like. I'm talking like people saying like oh you know this is so stupid. Oh you know the game is so unfun because of this. And it's like. It's only unfun because you're forcing yourself to do it. You know what I mean? Like you don't have to do that. Like Lackey, for example, he wasn't really having fun because he was trying to get that PKP, but it's very hard to get it. And he was having a lot of trouble with it, which is fair enough because it's a fucking rough quest to try and do. And he wasn't really having fun with the game and he wasn't playing it as much. But he wasn't sitting there saying, oh, you know, this quest is so fucking stupid. Because he was the only one forcing himself to do that quest. You know what I mean? The game wasn't forcing him to. He was just getting frustrated trying to get it which is different than like i mean because he could have done anything else he wanted you know what i mean like there's nothing forcing him to do that that quest in specific isn't even very important has good rewards but that's about it okay i need to figure my inventory out right now because it's a fucking mess We got a very good spawn actually. We're just looting these houses, finding a hose, and getting the fuck out. Okay, there you go. <laughs> My inventory is clear of bullshit.
hose or three blue tape. That's what we're looking for. I can just find the blue tape because I can craft the hose in my hideout, and by the time I need it, the craft will be done, so... I don't need all this stuff right now since I can't even build it. I'm just going to pick up everything. Actually, I'm going to drop the fuel. I don't want to be overweight. Hey, there's a hose. Let's just leave. Call it a day. I'll just leave some random stuff on the way out. Not too picky. Nothing too dangerous though, because I don't want to die. I want to get that survive. Regardless if I die though, I just want to don't I don't want to die because of my daily, but um, I just heard something. Um, regardless if I die or not, though, we got the water collector done, which is nice. I seem to be able to finish, like, at least one hideout upgrade a day. Mm 
It would probably give me about like two weeks of stuff more to do for my hideout. Which is quite a long time, but I don't mind. A lot of it's like end game stuff anyways, so it's not super important. It's just kind of like a fun goal. A lot of the hideout stuff isn't that important. Like, it kind of, like, prints money. And it does help you level up your skills faster. If that's something you care about. But it's really not that important at the end of the day. Has it been seven minutes? Yeah. We're good to go. Let's get the fuck out of here. This VD over there is a little bit concerning, but we're probably gonna be fine. I'm honestly fucking sick of Shoreline right now, though. I've played it so much recently. Um, I definitely do not want to play any more Shoreline. I think we're done with hideout stuff for a little bit. Because I really want to focus on... Um, Focus on doing some more tasks, because I'm kind of getting sick of the hideout stuff. Just too many hideout stuff in a in a row. Today was a nice change of pace, though, because the labs. It's like a lot of labs runs. If I wasn't doing the labs runs today, I think I would have gotten pretty bored just doing the hideout stuff and looking for shit on shoreline and interchange. Tomorrow I'm gonna try and farm graphics cards. It'll be a nice change of pace as well. Be a lot of interchange, but decent enough change of pace that it'll be fine. And I don't think tomorrow will be too long of a stream either. Nice. Job done. Job done. Honestly, decently successful day. I'd say pretty successful day. Honestly, pretty successful day. We got all of Water Collector level 2 done for whenever I get Jaeger level 2. We got Terror Group Employee done, which is a really nice quest to have finished. We got a Fire Clean, which is Workbench level 3 as well. That's really nice. And we got a whole bunch of dailies done. And we got two Bitcoins and two Lead Xs today. So that is 4 million rubles worth of value right there, actually. And uh, we had some good raids. We had like maybe like two really good labs raids and one or two like decent labs raids and then we had like one really big shoreline raid um where i got out with like a fuck ton of shit like literally fucking like packed to the brim um and all in all pretty decent all in all pretty decent not bad at all cannot complain cannot complain Cannot complain at all. Sadly, did not find the suppressor I was looking for, but honestly, it does not seem like Labs is the play for it. Honestly, I don't think Labs is the play. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna not look for it in Labs next time we look for it. It's not gonna be tomorrow. I'm not gonna look for it again tomorrow. But um, just at some point the next time I look for it, I am not gonna look in Labs. I'm going to look elsewhere. But we got that done. That's fully done. All of that stuff is for the water collector level 2. It's always cool to look at all the stuff I've collected in the day for like the hideout upgrades. Just like cool to see all of it. Like kind of sitting there. It's always very satisfying to like fully get those upgrades. Like fully complete them. Knowing that I had to collect each and every item. Like, man, I, I just, just... The game is so much more satisfying without the flea market. And without scav. Like, the fact that I actually have to work for it. You know what I mean? Like, 
every fucking every part of it has to be worked for there you go got that all complete i just need jaeger level two which i will probably do on sunday i think sunday is going to be jaeger time we're going to try and do some jaeger shit on sunday 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 i will clean up this as much as i can and then end it there for today my weekly will reset which is nice as well we can start working on it tomorrow i am going to re-roll that weekly like a fuck ton of times by the way just fyi uh, I'm going to spend quite a bit of cash just re-rolling it and see if I can get something for Ragman. Hopefully, um, but we'll see. We need to claim this insurance. It's gonna run out. A belt rig. Shit. Shit. Let me do this. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't have much room. <laughs> Not have much room. You ever have room? No. You know what, though? I will say this, right? I will say this. I think that it's actually a big reason of why I am actually as good at looting as I am is because I've had a standard account for so long and I've dealt with having to make space. Like, I, I genuinely think that that has, like, improved my fucking, like, tessellation skills and my looting skills, like, a t massive amount. Like, I think if it wasn't for the fact that I have a standard account, I would loot a lot worse like genuinely i genuinely think it is like made me a better player when it comes to looting boom made space hell yeah hell fucking yeah yeah i actually don't have that much insurance I know there's a lot of stuff in here, but I actually don't have that much stuff. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, there's not that much stuff in here. I swear. Alright. That is it for today. 206 million stash value. I went up by about like 7 million. I make about 7 million, 8 million stash value a day, it seems like. Kind of like what it feels like obviously it depends on the day but it goes up pretty 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 consistently um honestly my survival rating has fucking gone up a ton like i'm up to 58 percent now which is really cool that is really cool i was at like 56 percent and now i'm at like a kind of a steady 58 honestly uh which is pretty sick pretty sick I think I'm sitting at, um, I'm probably sitting, I'm like close to the, um, to OKD. Close. Not quite, but close. But honestly, for no flea market and for having to relearn the game and stuff that I haven't played in two years, it's going really well. Hit level 51 endurance today as well. Got uh, two lead axes. It's really nice. Um, I'm very close 
well, I say I'm very close. I am halfway to the thick item case in terms of lead X's. Defibs I can craft. Toothpaste is easy. Uh, the ibuprofens are easy as well. Defibs are Ooh. kind of a pain in the ass, but not the end of the world. The um, lead X's are the big thing, though. Got seven lead X's saved up. Seven lead X's saved up. I've not seen anybody use the Zeus Pro. There's even more thermals in the game nowadays. So many thermals. This Ash 12 did work, actually. For that Ash 12. Which kind of slaying people. Slaying people. Um, but that is going to be it for today. Very successful. Um, we didn't happen to... We did not happen to uh, get the suppressor that we need, but that's okay. At the end of the day, we had some good raids. We killed a shit ton of raiders, um, so can't complain too, too much. I'm also not super dead tired, which is always a good thing to end the stream not super, super tired. Um, I am going to try and get back on pretty soon, actually. I'm going to take a little bit of a nap, but I'm going to try and get back on sooner rather than later. Um, and we're going to farm graphics cards tomorrow is the plan one for my bitcoin farm and two for farming part four i need to complete that quest so we'll turn in three graphics cards to mechanic hopefully um and we will spin the wheel at the end of tomorrow we will be spinning the wheel so if you are interested in that you can watch the wheel spin tomorrow and we will play whatever game it lands on on saturday that is a it is a guarantee. Either Saturday or Sunday, we will play. Um, whatever, whatever game it lands on. So, Hitman is shrinking. Hitman, not even fifty percent. More like forty percent. Maybe you could use some extra votes. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It might be the day. This might be the day that it hits Hitman. Maybe. It's kind of fucking, it's nuts that it's dodged Hitman for so long. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't give me hope. I'm sorry. I mean, like, I genuinely believe it, though. Every day, every, like, week when it rolls around and I look at the wheel and I think, what game do I think it'll land on? I'm like, oh, man, it, it'll probably land on Hitman. And then it doesn't. Ever. Ever. Um... But that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Eventually one day it will. Eventually one day it will. It's insane. It is actually insane. Like, the odds are like 60%, right? So it's actually in favor that it doesn't land in Hitman, right? Like, it is in favor for it not to land on Hitman. But not majorly. And it's been rolled so many times. To the point where it's getting, like, what the fuck? Like... If I didn't fucking have control of the wheel, I would think it was, like, rigged or something. I'd be like, yo, how the fuck is Hitman not winning? I'd be like, that's, that's, that's sus. You know what I mean? That's kind of fucking suspicious. I literally couldn't even rig the wheel if I tried. The only thing I could do to rig the wheel is not include people's votes. That's the only thing I could do, is just not include people's votes. But you can literally count how many votes are on the wheel like you could take a screenshot and count it so you would easily be able to tell if i wasn't counting people's votes so i mean you can see that don't starve i think that's don't starve no that one's don't starve don't starve has like 45 votes or something um which is exactly how much it has on the spreadsheet or maybe that's not don't starve the top ones don't starve i don't know some of the colors are hard or like drastic world evolution for example it has 51 like 52 it looks like it has 52 on the wheel super rude bear has like 28 it looks like it has like 28 i mean you're e you're easily able to tell like how many votes something has what's that dark red one dark red one oh no actually 
is the dark red one? Like the the like burgundy or maroon. What game is that? It is. Oh, it's God's Trigger. Okay. Hell yeah, I want to play that actually. Play that. I try to pick like a like a like a hellish, hellish, fiery color. Or like, I don't know. Ooh. I do want to play that actually. That should be fun. But today was pretty successful. Um, hopefully everybody enjoyed the stream. Hopefully everybody had a good time. Um. Yeah, finished water collection level two, got Terra Group employee done, got the fire clean. That's a level three workbench tomorrow, which would be sick. Um, we can see if there's any cool crafts for that. I don't know what it allows you to craft. Um, we got two Bitcoins, two lead X's. Pretty nice. Had some good raids. All in all, pretty good. We did a lot of labs as well. So, cannot complain. Not complain. Again, that room is actually insane. Black key card is nuts. What the fuck? God, this room is broken, dude. What the fuck is this room? Why is this room so good? What the fuck is this room? <laughs> Every time I come in here, I'm, I'm just amazed at how this room is still the way it is. Like, how have they not changed this? I really shouldn't have brought in so many skins. Let me bring in my... Thing. Like, how did they not change this? This is insane. So many stims. At least one of these is like 50k. A little bit more than that. It's 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 honestly. That's I mean, how much is that? How much money is that? That's. Uh, other than the ones I brought in myself. Hundred. Two hundred. Three hundred. Four hundred. Five hundred. Six hundred. It's like six hundred k. In that fucking room, it's 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 actually nuts, and that's if you die. If you don't die, it's worth even more than that. It's actually worth even more than that. See translation? I want to know. No, yeah, some of the shit on the wall is pretty fucking dark. That was one. And popular clips from Gamer Tie One Hundred Eight. Popular clips from Gamer Time on Wait. Oh, the 4K one was a good time. Well, I should post this on my Twitter. I can feel that in my bones. Double down. Three opponents down. Fantastic work. That's a 4K? <laughs> With the fucking Please revolver? Oh yeah. That's a 4K. <laughs> That's pretty clean. That's a good one. I should post that on my Twitter for sure. Um, yeah, that is going to be about it um, for today. We will play some more Tarkov tomorrow, but on Saturday we will be playing a new game. No idea what it is yet. Um, something off the wheel. Hopefully something good. I mean, pretty much everything on the wheel is good. Pretty much all fun, and it's always a good time playing something new. Playing something that somebody voted for, wants me to play, all that good stuff. It's always a good time. So, that should be fun for Saturday. Tomorrow, we are going to do some more Tarkov. Nothing too crazy tomorrow. Just trying to do some dailies and um, try to farm some graphics cards. That's going to be the plan. Try and get as many graphics cards as I can. Hopefully, complete farming part four tomorrow. Um, just graphics cards and CPU fans. Just try and do that up. 
And uh, yeah, that is the plan for tomorrow. We will be spinning the wheel. So if you do want to put any votes on the wheel, make sure you do so before the end of tomorrow's stream. Uh, if you don't know how the wheel works and you're new to the stream, I will explain real quick just today. And I'll explain a couple times tomorrow just for anybody else who needs to hear it. Um, needs to hear how it works. Have it explained. As you can see, there's a giant wheel on screen. It has a whole bunch of different colors on it. Each color represents a different video game. Um, you can influence what's on the wheel. You know, how what the chances are of a game winning the wheel spin that I do every Friday uh, with your Twitch channel points that you earn for free, completely for free, just from watching the stream. As you can see in the bottom left of chat, there's a little bubble. Click that bubble, a whole bunch of options will pop up. The yellow options will influence the wheel with your votes. If you do want to vote on a game, you can click that link in chat that Nightbot just posted, and it will have a list of all the games you can vote on. All the games in the middle column and the left column. Um, you can vote on those games. The more votes a game has, the higher chance it has of winning the wheel spin. I spin the wheel at the end of every Friday stream, and I play whatever game it lands on on Saturday stream. So if there's a game you want to see me play, spend your channel points, you know, build it up, increase the chances of winning. The votes carry over to next week, even if the game doesn't win. And it's a proportional voting system, so it just increases its chances of winning. It's not actually like guaranteed for anything to win. Even if it has, you know, the majority of the wheel, it's not guaranteed. It's just a chance. So the more votes something has, higher chances of winning. Honestly, if you put in like 50 votes, your game has a decent chance of winning and every week. So if there's anything you want to see me play on that list, feel free to put in your votes. You can do so at any time between now and the end of Friday to influence the next wheel spin. But you can vote anytime you want, even while I'm offline, and uh, they will always be added. So if you do want to place any votes, make sure you do so. And uh, I will spin at the end of tomorrow. So tomorrow's stream will be a bit more chill, probably not the longest thing. I'm going to try and make it a little bit shorter, um, and I might get back on and be a little bit tired. Um, but we are going to try and get those graphics cards tomorrow. Three graphics cards, hopefully be able to do it in one day, but we'll see. Um... We'll see if we can get three graphics cards. I mean, that's all I'm going to aim to do. Just aim for graphics cards. So we'll see. We will see. But um, yeah, today was fun. Today was good. Accomplished some things. Can't complain. So A+. Plus. A+, plus, A+, plus, A+. Plus. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Hopefully you guys had a good time. Uh, thank you very much for the clip of the day. As always, fuckins, I do really appreciate it. And um, thank you everybody else as well. Uh, if you are new to the stream and you enjoyed please do hit the follow button down below, the little heart. I'd really appreciate it. It's completely free. just notifies you the next time that I go live, so you can hop into the stream again. I do stream pretty much every single day. i um, been playing a lot of Escape from Tarkov, but I do play a new game every week, courtesy of the wheel and people choosing the game for me to play. And uh, I plan to play more Tarkov in the future, though. Got a lot more things I want to accomplish, some fun things as well, some fun little challenges and stuff. So it should be a lot of fun. And, um, yeah, should be be good um even though i do stream every single day though i don't start any specific time i usually try and start like a.m eastern standard time but honestly my schedule shifts pretty fucking hardcore um so i try and keep it as steady as i can but it does shift pretty heavy but i do stream real long hours so your best bet if you really want to know when the stream starts though is to hit that follow button down below the little heart um, or you can follow me on Twitter, or you can join my community Discord. All three of those things will give you a notification whenever I go live, so you can always know when the stream starts. Um, it'll let you know how long I plan to stream, what game I plan to play, and what the kind of game plan for the stream is, kind of what goal I'm doing, if it's Tarkov, or you know what the goal I'm doing, or the kind of theme of the stream is, no matter what game I'm playing. Um, so yeah, if you do want to do any of those three things, you can just get a, not a little notification when I go live. They're all completely free, just ways for you to hop in again if you enjoyed the stream i do also have a youtube channel if you want to check that out i post occasional highlights and stuff up on there nothing too too often just whenever i find the time i did post a video about a week and a half ago a uh, little just a little three minute stream highlight compilation uh, that fluffkins made it's a really fun little video only like three minutes long you can check it out if you want if you haven't seen it already it's definitely worth a watch it's a fun one um but i don't upload on there too often just whenever i Get around to it i just don't have that much time since i stream so much uh, but i do have a secondary youtube channel where i post all of my streams as full-length videos after the stream is over so if there's anything you want to if you miss something or you want to re-watch something 
or you want to see me play a specific game that I've played in the past. All of it is up on that VODs channel uh, as full-length videos for anybody to watch back. So if you do want to check that out, uh, you can. All those links are in chat if you do want to check any of those things out. If not, it's all good. There's there for the people who want them. Um, and that is going to be about it, honestly. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. I, I do really always appreciate the people being here as often as they are and always feeling the desire to tune in and hang out and stuff. It really means a lot. Um, so thank you to everybody. Fluffkins, I'm very glad you enjoyed your stay. As always, always happy to have you here. You are a very valued member of chat and the best moderator. Um, and thank you to everybody else as well. Even if you were just lurking and didn't say anything in chat the whole time, or you were new to the stream, or you just only got to tune in for a little bit. I appreciate everybody that watches immensely and uh, equally, really, I do. So thank you all for being here. Thank you all for enjoying the stream. Thank you all for choosing to spend your time here. It does really mean a lot, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. Hopefully you guys had a good time, and hopefully I'll see you guys again tomorrow. And uh, yeah, that is going to be about it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the stream. Hopefully you had a good time, and hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.